now in Yanogo Bioso State, where just uh, yesterday the Independent National Electoral Commission here in Bioso State uh, made the major announcement of the results of the 2019 uh, governorship election here in Bioso State. And of course, uh, the results given, which is everywhere right now, the APC polled a total of 252,552, while the PDP uh, polled a total of 143,872. So it's the APC, David Leon, who's a declared winner of the uh, governorship election year in Bayerso State. And you know, it's the very first time that the APC will be holding sway here. Uh, Bayerso has predominantly been a PDP state for 20 years, since 1999, uh, from Dimitri Alamise uh, to Goodluck Jonathan to Dimitri Silva to the outgoing governor, uh, Siriake Dixon. But right now, I have the PDP uh, governorship candidate with me, Senator Duoye Diri. I'm being joined also by Ima Ade, who is the correspondent of this day, our sister publication here in Yenogwa. It's a correspondent right here in Yenogwa. So let's go straight to the issue, sir, sir, uh, Senator Diri. Your reaction to the election results? Well, firstly, I want to appreciate and congratulate Bielsans for being steadfast as true Democrats who came out in spite of the intimidation, in spite of the violence posture by the security agencies. I want to thank them for standing by the PDP, even though their mandate has been stolen. It is on this note I answer your question. As a party, we totally and wholesomely reject the so called figures and results announced by the National Electoral Commission. Why? Want to give specific well, reasons? You are aware of the build up to the elections. Build up to the elections, we raised red flag. And I've repeated this over and over. In Nembe, we raised a red flag. On Wednesday, that is just two days to the election proper, we went to campaign in Nembe. And all our members, all our party faithfuls from NIMBY were not allowed to go in. Our campaign team was attacked brutally. There was a war situation in NIMBY, and we lost lives. There are so many still in the hospital who are disallowed from campaigning in NIMBY. Thereafter, all the PDP faithfuls were asked to leave Nimbe, and they all left because their lives were no longer secured. Build up to the election, we talked about Southern Niger. Build up to the election, we talked about brass, and those were the areas of red flag that we raised. And true to type, true to type, those three local governments, this time they now added Ogbea on election day, where the areas that rigging was perfected. Let's talk about Nimbi. Connivance, okay. In okay. connivance with the military. The military was the organ, the state institution that was used. You have evidence of this? That was used. Several evidences all over the place. Even in my media chat yesterday, I called the GOC as the one in charge, and his own, and everybody under him in charge, to the point that they asked to leave. And so there are evidences across the states. So this is no election. It was a coup to ensure that they deny by Elsans of their rights to choose who their next governor will be. Imano? 
Uh, 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 um, the 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 these the votes coming in from you know the local governments, you know some of them are quite uh, you know unusual for a state that you have always described as a PDP state, as an a PDP is an Ijo party, and uh, for example we are seeing this course from Southern Ijo. Uh, where the chairman of your party comes from, where the DG of your campaign, you know, comes from. Um, what do you think specific, specifically? What happened uh, in, uh, in 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 Southern Nigeria? And and uh, for example, the place you come from, Kolokuma Pokuma, yeah. the the PDP, the APC, got, actually got uh, more than a half uh, of the votes that you got in in your own area. What do you think transpired? I have said that there was no. All those figures that they are announcing as fi they are written figures they do not reflect the wishes and aspirations of our people they do not reflect the proper voting of our people now what you don't know is that we also had a situation room that communicated with all the 105 wards where elections took place and the places that election took, voting was done, properly done. In all of those places, the PDP won. Everywhere, proper elections took place. Now, immediately after that, they now saw they were losing. That was when they tried to contract the military in. And so from when they contracted the military into the process, everything started changing. Even units that were initially because of violence or, or one thing or the other, there were no elections. They have full results. In Nimbe, there was nothing like election. It is a chara. That's why those figures are figures by INEC and APC. They do not reflect the voting that took place in Bayelsa. There was no voting in Nimbe. None in Nimbe. Southern Nigeria voting in some areas, but even at that, they obtained all of those results and then wrote their own results. So the areas where election took place, for instance, in my local government, you can see the figure very low. In Sabama, their voting strength is about 120. Elections took place, so you can see the figure very low. But in Nimbe, where there was no voting, their voting strength is 90-something, and then they gave and uh, wrote a result of uh, 80, 83,000. And less than 1,000 for you. And less than 1,000. Those are results that are manufactured, cooked, and manufactured by APC and INEC. And it's a sorry state for democracy if we do not want to contest elections. Tell us you are going to appoint a governor for Bielsa. So you don't need to endanger the lives of people. You don't need us to spend resources the way we have done to ensure that the people's mandate prevails. As we speak today, they have a stolen mandate. So, they so have what, stolen what? the will of the people. And I repeat, this is no election. It is a charade. So what's the next step for you, sir? You're heading to the tribunal? Well, we are consulting with the party. You know I'm not an independent candidate. I belong to a political party. And so we will consult with our party, both at the state and at the national, and we will tell you our next line of action. Now, how would you react to critics who say that maybe Bayosa is also yearning for a change? For 20 years, it's been the PDP audience way, Bayosa, and they wanted a change this time around. How would you react to such? That's not true. I've told you here that the old elections, the people are standing solidly behind the PDP. The people don't know any other party than the PDP. So the results that we have, the people still voted for PDP. That's what the APC and their cohorts are putting up there for Nigerians. So the PDP governorship candidate here in Bayoso State. Uh, his reaction to the results that have been announced uh, 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 so far 
uh, talking about the governorship election year in Bayelsa State, where the candidate of the APC, David Leon, was declared winner by the electoral body here in Nigeria, uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. It's back to you in the studio, uh, Rufai and Sheita. Thank you so much uh, for that, uh, Ohi. Oh, yeah, they did a very good job there yes. uh, with Doria Diri. I mean, yeah. you, saw, you saw it there. You saw the reaction of them about the PDP mm -hmm. candidate. Uh, one thing that has been a recurring theme mm -hmm. in all of this is the fact that the opposition party says there was heavy-handedness. Of course. There was the use of, you know, paramilitary paraphernalia. Thugs, ballot snatching. There was the use of thugs. There was also the fact that ballot boxes were stuffed. And you only wonder... Uh, we've been, we've been, we've returned to democracy for over 20 years mm -hmm. now. I mean, from the very first elections we had with the head of INEC then being Ephraim Apata to what we have now in the likes of Ibo Gobadia to, to the current uh, INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakub, mm -hmm. it has been the recurrence of this problem. Of course. I mean, the big question is when are we going to perfect this oh, wow. process? You know, it's, it, I, I can't believe that we're still having this conversation. And, like, you, you know, with everything that you've mentioned, another thing that really stood out was the, was, was the figures. Mm. Because he gave, you know, he mentioned a particular place, in, you know, the particular local government in Bayelsa, Nembe, mm. which had, like, a huge turnout for people at the PDP rally. But for uh, the elections to happen and then for the results to come out, and we find out that APC is having more numbers that don't even reflect the number of people that currently reside in the Nembe uh, uh, local government area. Mm. You know, it, it's, it's rigging, but not just rigging done on a different level with no I mean, regard we, 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 for the we, Nigerian We, we can't verify if it's rigging. We can't mm -hmm. verify if any rigging took place. Mm -hmm. What we just can do is to investigate the numbers. But you were speaking about Nembe. Mm -hmm. Nembe, for instance, had been a hotbed. Let's not forget that. All well, the PDP went to Kabe in Nebi a couple of days ago. I think about over three or four people were killed. We killed yes. It's been a hotbed. Let's not also forget that uh, there's been a lot of politicking going on in and around Nebi. The current deputy governor of Bayasa is from that area. Yes. And this also said that uh, some, some parties are aggrieved. But all we just want to do, was we, we want to challenge the numbers. We want to look at the numbers. And they'll have their day in court. I mean, yes. we're not going to call it here, oh, there's rigging on them. We're just going to challenge the quality of those numbers. Like you pointed out very strongly, yes. who are the people that turned out to vote? I mean, there are also cases of Okene. Exactly. Uh, so uh, where 112,000 people voted for a certain political party. So, so we're having a 95% uh, turnout. Turnout rate for, for that political party. But... And it's, it's just disturbing, you know, watching all the footage and watching the videos. It seemed like something out of a, of a movie, a civil war. We had helicopters flying in the air, um, you know, civilians under attack. It's, it's, it, in 2019, we shouldn't be having such a, such a process in, yeah. in, in Nigeria. And then we had the EU as well, you know, send out a, uh, their letter yeah. and, you know, talk about how disappointed they were in how the elections were carried out in Bayelsa. Very, very painful. Cooking. It just shows that all the EU report from the last elections on the recommendation of the EU are unemployed. <laughs>